so uh, you can yeah, as i have already discussed our l the h by w value will fall in the range of 3 by 2 to 6 for our 23 story building with a uniform height of 3 meters and uh, we will go for l by w value in the range of 1 to 3 by 2 and we are going for this set of pressure coefficients now we have to apply 0.25 on the other side we will go to this and we will go for view set elevation view d apply ok and ensure that the all stories option is selected then uh, we will select this we will select you can see when you select the shell of one story because we have selected the all stories option the uh, shells of all the levels are selected then we will again select the shell of one story and all the uh, shells the shells in all the levels are selected now we will go for assign and we will go for shell load wind pressure coefficient and we will give a value of minus 0.25 and leeward side replace existing loads apply and we will go for ok so we have applied the uh, wind pressure coefficient on the other side now we have to apply for uh, the C and the D side so it is minus 0.8 for the C wall and minus 0.8 for the D wall so again we will go for view set plan view apply ok and uh, you can see uh, on the plan the wind pressure coefficient being applied now we will we have to go for the elevation view along x along 4 axis 4 and axis 1 and on both the elevations we have to apply a wind pressure coefficient of minus 0.8 so first view so it is 4 and 1 set elevation view 1 apply ok then uh, we have to ensure that all stories are selected then we will select all the shells then we will go for assign and we will go for shell load wind pressure coefficient and it is going to be the leeward side and we will put a value of minus 0.8 apply ok now we will go for the same procedure we will go to view set plan view select any one story apply and we will go for ok and we will go for the elevation along axis 4 view set elevation view axis 4 apply we will go for ok then we will select we will go for the same procedure we will 
select the shell in one level and all the, uh, since we have selected all storage options the shells of all the levels get selected then we will go for assign then we will go for shell load then pressure coefficient point it apply and we will go for ok Now uh, go for view, set plan view, go for any one story, any random story we are selecting, go for apply and you can see the, we will go for ok, ok and you can see the pressure coefficient being applied. Uh, so this finishes with the application of bin pressure coefficient. Now we will uh, go for the, uh, now if you go to define and load combinations, uh, there, there is no load combination at present so you can go for add default design combination and we are going for uh, concrete frame design so in concrete you can see these three options concrete frame design concrete shear wall design concrete slab design so the building that we have considered doesn't have shear wall in it and we we are intending to just go for uh, concrete frame design else you can we can go for convert to user combinations where user you can give uh, combinations uh, with factors of your choice we will go for concrete frame design and we will go for ok and like we will go to one we will see what is the combo it is 1.5 like that you can check let us go for the last design combination modify show combo and you can see this so we will go for ok so uh, now uh, we have seen how to go for the load combination now let us do the design of this building uh, first we will analyze it analyze and then if you want you can go for check model let us see if our model has any errors. Check model. Uh, 